Hey guys, how's it going? So, a while back, Xbox bought ZeniMax, parent company of Bethesda, id Software, Obsidian, several other places. And there's been speculation recently, is Microsoft slash Xbox going to be making some more acquisitions? There was even the rumor of Sega being possibly picked up by them about a month ago. That was the rumor, that they were going to reveal something on... The, uh, the eve of Xbox Series X launch during the uh, the live celebration that they had. But nothing happened. It was quite silent. But Phil Spencer has been making the rounds, guys. And talking it out with different media outlets, journalists, things like that. Saying some interesting things. We're going to follow up with this article that came out a little bit ago. A few days ago. Um, about um, acquisitions about the Bethesda acquisition and some more stuff. Phil Spencer says some interesting things a lot during some of these, um, uh, you know, speeches and announcements and things like that. So let's go ahead. Let's check out this update. And if this is your first time coming to the channel, can you smash that subscription button for me, please down here? I'd appreciate that. Anyways, guys, Xbox will absolutely buy more studios. Phil Spencer has elab elaborated on the Bethesda acquisition as well as touching on future plans for Microsoft Studio Group. So while Microsoft has been slowly acquiring game studios for some time now, its record-breaking $7.5 billion acquisition of Bethesda parent company ZeniMax showed just how serious Microsoft's first-party development ambitions are. In an appearance on Twitch's GlitchCon opening address, Xbox head Phil Spencer touched on the Bethesda acquisition, but also confirmed it'll be adding more studios to its roster in the future. So definitely confirmation of more studios is big, is very big. Spencer clarified first that while Bethesda acquisition is in motion, it hasn't yet been finalized and most likely won't be until early 2021 due to regulatory processes. So, yeah, we got a little bit of due di diligence and stuff like that. He says, coming together now and have them become part of Xbox, I think will just be an amazing opportunity with the great games that they'll continue to build, Spencer said. The great thing is those games will become part of Game Pass on the day that they launch, which I think creates more opportunity for people to go play. So, day one Game Pass for any of these ZeniMax branded games, which is exciting news I'm an advocate for Game Pass, especially with how how high prices of games are getting now. No, sir. <laughs> sure, I'm not owning the digital copy and it's a service, but it's giving me a chance to play these games without breaking the bank, and I'm all for that. you got to pay for the online anyway. So it says, in terms of continuing to invest in new studios and new games, new content, absolutely we have to do that, Spencer confirmed. It's important that we continue to build out the library games that are available on Xbox. We'll double the size of our studio's organization when we add Bethesda. And we're going to continue to invest in great games so people could find their next favorite game on our platform. So that's, that's a good positive outlook on uh, in general with this. That's a very good positive aspect. So definitely interested to see... Uh, what studios they pick up in the future honestly i was hoping that sega rumor was true but it sounded a little too good so it says spencer's comments go on to show that microsoft's gaming ambitions go well beyond the xbox as simply a piece of hardware that the company is also looking to consolidate consolidate a software empire with the xbox game pass as its backbone so yeah guys it's a bigger picture than just the xbox console itself game pass you know games available all sorts of different ways that's what the main goal is with microsoft now i used to not quite understand it until i just saw how well of a business model game Pass is. so it says spencer has previously commented on the bethesda acquisition saying that the point is not to make all its games console exclusive or force anyone to buy microsoft's hardware in the video spencer apologized for the xbox series x s shortages addressing xbox fans frustrations with the console's limited liability so availability so that is big news here guys definitely looking forward to seeing what the future holds for xbox studios what acquisitions they'll be picking up 
Um, there's a lot of potential out there, especially with lesser known development studios that can make some good IPs, but it doesn't seem that they want console exclusives. They want more of different uh, IPs that they can license out and have available on PC, PS5, um, Switch, stuff like that. So I don't think they're going to have, I mean, you might have a Doom game or something console exclusive, but they'll also be other versions of those franchises on the other consoles as well so definitely interesting to see what the future holds for them what are your thoughts down below let me know in the comment section subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next one have a great day peace out